Can you make functional Dremel accessories with parts scavenged from common electronic appliances? Why, yes. Yes, you can. And thanks for asking. From previous lives, I know that somewhere between the skipping, chattering, and crooked lines of handheld Dremel work and the fancy, expensive CNC milling machines is the world of sleds, sliders, jigs, rigs, and templates. Sure, you can buy great pre made commercial products, but I have boxes and buckets of salvage printer and scanner parts with more waiting to be torn apart and scavenged. So when I needed a sliding sled for my Dremel work, the most difficult part was selecting the easiest existing mechanism to work with from the wide variety of shapes and sizes that I already had. I wanted to make it as simple as possible, so I chose the simplest shape in my collection. All I had to do was remove the belt from the scanner base plate and the sliding fixture. And I had a sturdy, moving sled that also lifted and rotated. Everything I needed at the time. All I had to do was secure the Dremel to the sled with a couple of hose clamps. Not much simpler than that. Then I started testing it. It worked great. But I quickly realized that I still needed to clamp down any movable or throwable parts. But it worked! I could cut thick metal washers cleanly and easily. I could make very precise and repeatable cuts in wood. Much better than I could do it by hand. I could sand out hollow, perfectly straight and level strips, route straight and narrow grooves, turn corners. I could even cut sheet metal, you know, with a few adjustments for blade size and angles. Oh, this was fantastic. This was awesome. I, I could even add other parts and get extra axes. I could build a semi-manual three-axis mill that I could eventually automate into a CNC machine. Uh, you know, but after a few minutes of tinkering and testing for rigidity and slop, reality hit, and I decided no, <laughs> no, that was not a realistic idea. I did, however, whip up a quick router duplicator that featured two axes movement and had dual hinges on the third. I hoped to make quick copies in wood of things that I'd already 3D printed without spending $2,000 on a CNC mill. And it worked, kind of. But after spending an hour slowly nibbling away at several different shapes and always making a mistake somewhere, I realized this is exactly why you want a CNC mill in lay. It's fun for the first 10 minutes. Seeing the shape emerge from a block of wood, smelling the sawdust, feeling the tool react to the material. Then it just becomes tedious and kind of boring. So I'll wait until I can justify getting a real CNC mill. But after seeing how well a sliding tray from an old CD DVD player worked in the duplicator, I decided to try to use one of those as a smaller version of the basic sled. I also have lots of old CD and DVD players, so I gutted one, took out the CD mechanism, the motors, and locks, but I left the gears because it makes it smooth. I screwed the sliding mechanism very securely to a heavy piece of scrap wood. It was sturdy, large enough to make a drill press using a full-size drill or a Dremel, but all I needed was a sled. So I clamped everything securely and repeated the washer cutting. And it worked great. It's the perfect size for my current needs. It's stable and safe and makes clean cuts and surfaces. I can store the entire thing in a shallow drawer, then take it outside, clamp it to the deck railing, and make a clean straight cut or groove, then disassemble it, and put it back in storage all in a few minutes. And I always have the scanner base for larger cuts. This one is a keeper. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you were entertained or maybe even learned something. 
Check out my Instructables page and blog for more great projects. And thanks for stopping by. Go make something fun.